My name is Vix, and I recently put my fursuit in a lake. It was wet and heavy. And sandy. Blech. And people weren't really appreciating it. So, let's talk about my experience fursuiting in the water. Our experience, technically. Well, yeah, I suppose. So to jog your memory, Rika and I made a video a while ago. Which you can watch by hitting that card up above, or link in the description. Go back and watch it. Yeah, pause this one and go watch it for context. It's also a good video. I'm sopping wet and almost die. No, you didn't. You don't know my life. Rika, I was there. I was you. Now you're just confusing. Anyway, go watch it real quick. So in the video, I, uh, we have a fun day at the beach. Floating in the waves, sitting in the water, going jet skiing, rolling in the sand. And let me tell you, it was a blast. But it's also something that requires planning and being extremely careful. Hence the warning at the beginning of the video. Yeah, so let me tell you what I did. First of all, if your fursuit has airbrushing, then don't even attempt this. It's a bad idea. If you're unsure, then ask your maker. Fursuits are made out of cloth, so water, or at least fresh water, is not harmful to them. But again, just always ask your maker if you're unsure. And then fursuits, like I said, are okay in fresh water, but salt water and chlorine can damage the suit, so I would advise against swimming in those types of waters. We swam in a freshwater lake, one of the greats. Yep, and we hung out on a private beach so that we weren't bothering anybody or breaking any laws. Vix equipped me with my small tail, old paws, and sock paws, because we only had a single fan in the sun for drying. Usually I just hang the suit up to dry. But also, I usually have a washing machine with a spin cycle to get all that water out. With no washing machine, we had no spin cycle, which means the suit was sopping wet. I gained like 20 pounds from just water. Yeah, it was heavy. Really heavy. Hence the weird stompy walk in the video. And to dry her, I just laid her out with a fan and left her overnight, and then the next morning I hung her up to dry. Luckily, it was pretty cloudy the next day, so the sun wasn't bright or hot enough to, like, damage the suit at all. My tail and other parts took ages to dry. My paws weren't even fully dry until we got home. Yeah, it took a while. Now let's talk about being in the water. A lot of people asked me if I was dying of heat being out on the beach. Well, no, it was only like 75 degrees out, and that's like hoodie, light jacket weather for me. We love the heat! Yeah, plus the water really cooled me off pretty quickly to the point where after I had been in the water for about maybe 20 minutes, I was literally shivering. I was so cold. <laughs> and I didn't really plan on getting very wet, mostly just my feet and my butt as it was sticking through the hole in the inner tube. <laughs> And that went so well. I was not planning on getting fully submerged. And you see how that went. Yeah, when I was in the floaty, I got too close to shore and got pummeled by waves. And I got soaked pretty fast. It was like swimming in your clothes. If your clothes weighed like 20 pounds. <laughs> but oh my god. God, was it relaxing. I could have stayed out in the water floating all day if I was tethered, so I didn't float away. It wasn't unbearable, though. After the floaty, I got out of the water, lay down for a bit, waited for some of the water to get out of my suit, and then I went back in for some more fun. I didn't actually go swimming, though. I mainly stayed in ankle to shin high waters. Until the jet ski. <sighs> yeah, well, for the jet ski, I had to actually go out to the jet ski, and I was in, like, waist-to-chest-high water. <laughs> and of course I wore a life jacket, too, because if I would have fallen off the jet ski... We'd be dead. Nobody could get to us fast enough. And I'm so heavy with wet fur, we would just drown. Yeah, it was a bit of a scary thought. And I was also just kind of a little afraid of the jet ski, because I've never driven it by myself. And I was afraid of falling off and drowning and all of that, but 
Our friend Jeff was kind enough to get some really cool drone footage of it. It was really, really awesome. So let's talk about the big thing. The sand. I hate sand. The sand was all over me. My paws and legs and arms were literally brown from the amount of sand that was caked onto the fursuit. Where did it all go? I don't know, but it's not on me anymore. People were unbelievably concerned about the sand. And it was, like, basically glued to the fur. It was really stuck on there. But during, like, the 12 plus hours it took for the suit to dry, I continuously brushed it, getting that sand out. And when it was all dry, I gave it a really good shake and... No sand! All gone! So here's my suit. Just finished drying, just about. Here's the crotch. Here's the bum, which, you know, was sitting in the sand. And, um, take a look at that. No sand in there. I would have done a before video showing the sand, but I wanted it to dry, but... Yeah, there's... And the legs that, I mean, you saw were completely covered in sand. Perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about, guys. I know how to take care of my very expensive suit. Well, except for the sock paws, because there was a hole in them that I didn't know about, and so they got pretty filled with sand. But I spent a lot of time really digging that sand out and shaking them out, and the little bit amount of sand that's left in them doesn't bother me. And there you have it! Fursuit swimming! To recap! No proper fursuit care. Always talk to your maker if you're unsure. Keep to fresh water. Be aware of your surroundings. Wear life jackets. Don't go out where it's too deep. Don't go alone. Know what you're doing. Have a good way to dry your suit. Be careful and have fun! What she said. I kind of want to fill a little kitty pull up with water and go swimming in my front yard now. Or just wait for a quadifer. Are we going to that? <laughs> well, I would hope so. It would be kind of weird if the guests of honor didn't show up. Oh, well, I guess we can talk about that now. <laughs> See you guys at a quadifer. Bye. Bye.